lecture we spoke about in the yesterday lecture we spoke about what which law the two control and coordinating centers then we discussed the difference between them we talked about the properties of hormones and the list of endocrine glands everybody on the blackboard eye contact here no no not looking here and there so what i have written over is there now here which law pituitary gland ka embryonic origin yeah how is the pituitary gland formed during your embryonic stages okay so we start we find that the development of the brain human brain during the embryonic stages embryonic stages is which stages the early stages of development in the mother's womb is called embryonic stages so at that time I'm talking, the development of the brain is done by a layer called as neural ectoderm and the mouth region the buccal cavity region is developed by a layer called germinal layer called which ectoderm buccal ectoderm so the neural ectoderm is forming the brain and the buccal ectoderm is forming your buccal cavity from the neural ectoderm there is formation of a down growth ek cheez ise niche growth hi which is called the neural bud okay and from the buccal ectoderm comes out an outgrowth which is called rachis pouch so the brain development is brought about by neural ectoderm and that creates a down growth called as the neural bud at the buccal ectoderm shows the presence of a rachis pouch now the rachis pouch gets detached from the buccal ectoderm and it goes and gets attached to the neural bud okay and that results in the formation of your pituitary gland so now the pituitary gland is produced from how many parts which lo two parts what are two parts the neural bud of the neural ectoderm and the rachis pouch of the buccal ectoderm together it is called as the pituitary gland the part which develops from the neural bud is called as neurohypophysis hypophysis is another name of the pituitary gland so you call it as what neurohypophysis it is developing from where it is developing from the neural bud so it is called as the neurohypophysis and the part which develops from the buccal ectoderm it is called adeno hypophysis so the pituitary gland that is hypophysis got divided into two parts adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis neuro hypophysis coming from the neural bud adeno hypophysis is developing from the buccal ectoderm the rachis pouch neuro hypophysis is called posterior pituitary gland and adeno hypophysis is called anterior pituitary gland so the pituitary gland got divided into two parts 
anterior and posterior, also called as the neurohypophysis and adenohypophysis. Did you get this point, everybody? So yesterday we saw hypothalamus. Then certain things related to the portal system and all that. And this was a short diagram that I drawn for the pituitary gland. Okay. Now this part that I am highlighting. Did you see that part everybody? That is called as the pituitary stalk. Yesterday's lecture we had mentioned about the pituitary stalk. Is it it Vachalo? Yes. yes or no? Yes. Do you remember the other name for the pituitary stalk? No? Who remembers what the other name? Yes? Tell me. Infundible. Right? And the rest of the down growth there, this is called the pars nervosa. So the posterior pituitary shows the presence of this stalk that is the infundibulum and the pars nervosa. PN lithamin, pars nervosa. Did you guys get this point, everybody? Yes or no? Yes. All of you? So, does the pituitary gland develop from the same region of the germinal layers or different region of the germinal layers? Yes. Okay. The posterior pituitary develops from? Neuro. 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 Develops from where? What neuro hypophysis? Develops from where? Neuro. Neural part. And anterior develops from the <laughs> buccal ectoderm ka ratri spouse. So, two parts hoge. Adeno and neuro. Adeno ka dusra naam hai anterior pituitary. Or neuro ka dusra naam hai posterior pituitary. Itna yaad kar lenge pehle. Phir posterior pituitary mein kitne parts aage? Or do. The pituitary stop. Which is called infundibular yeah. nerve. And the pars nervosa and the anterior pituitary. See the part that I am marking in blue now. Can I say this part of the anterior pituitary is around the infundibulum? It is around the infundibulum. Like a collar around the neck. So if your neck is the infundibulum, your collar is around your neck. So that region of the anterior pituitary is called pars tuberalis. Okay? And the largest part of the anterior pituitary is called pars distalis. And the third part is called pars intermedia. So the three parts of adenohypophysis turn out to be <coughs> pars tuberalis, then pars distalis. And the pars intermedia. Okay. And what did I say? Which is the largest part of the anterior pituitary? So who is the largest part? Pars so pars distalis is the largest part, not only of the anterior pituitary, but overall the entire pituitary gland. So the largest part is the pars distalis. So NCRD says commonly it is called anterior pituitary. 
commonly pass discharge is called as anterior pituitary but you should not mistake have a wrong understanding that the anterior pituitary is made of only the pass discharge okay as it is the largest part commonly it can be called as what anterior pituitary i have got it everybody the pars intermedia in the case of humans adult humans it is like a cleft a non functional part okay this one pars intermedia which is found in between the pars nervosa and the pars distalis in the case of humans it is non functional in the case of humans it is non functional it is functional in the case of lower vertebrates like the amphibians where it releases hormones called msh melanocyte stimulating hormone that is responsible for skin coloration okay you will find that these lower animals are cryptically colored their colors match with their surroundings some of them have the ability of camouflage where they can change their skin coloration what my point so these hormones and other pigments they give them this ability so in the case of lower vertebrates like amphibians the pars intermedia secretes a hormone which is called as melanocyte stimulating hormone which hormone melanocyte stimulating hormone what is the melanocyte stimulating hormone related with in them with skin coloration humans or lower vertebrates who releases msh who who releases msh pars intermedia who is saying amphibians okay so pars intermedia releases msh in the lower whom guys vertebrates is this point clear everyone in the case of humans msh msh is secreted by the cells of the pars distalis itself so do human beings have melanocyte stimulating hormone no abhi kya se kar raha hai saying no ha kya sun raha hai no bol raha hai are you high on something you want me to read this message abhi jo bola maine wo pars distalis and pars distalis releases msh which is responsible for darkening of your skin through the pigment called melanin i heard of this pigment melanin yes. melanin makes your skin tone darker or fairer darker. darker it is produced under the influence of melanocyte stimulating hormone msh melanocyte stimulating hormone Are we clear up to here? Last bench. One or two parts of the pituitary gland. The left one, ah. No, no, no. Yeah. And what are the other names? Neuro and adeno. बैठो बैठो क्लियर है यहां तक सबको डेवलपमेंट समझा ओरिजिन समझा सबको कहां से ओरिजिन एक ही रीजन से दो अलग रीजन से सो एम्ब्रियोनिक ओरिजिन न्यूरो एक्टोडर्म फॉर्म्स द न्यूरो एम्पाइसिस 
that case power comes from the buccal equidermal bone the adenoid vessels how many parts of the adenoid vessels three what are they what are the ncrt say who is commonly called as anterior pituitary is it only anterior pituitary which no okay let me continue majority of the hormones are released by Fast distals. Right, everybody. The girl behind should be. Yeah, tell me. Fast intermediate human beings. Me, which hormone is released? Human beings. Human beings. Me. Fast distals. No. Hey, which hormone is released? Human beings. Only released. Only released. Better. Better. So, which is the part that is responsible for majority of the release of the hormones? So, let us see those hormones one by one. I'll try to do a few of them. Okay. But now, hypothalamus will once again come in the picture. Aditya, why the hypothalamus come in the picture once again? If I'm teaching pituitary gland, why should the pituitary gland? Why teaching pituitary gland? Hypothalamus should also come. Because it anterior pituitary with the help of whom? Okay. Now, I got the numbers. <coughs> Secretes a hormone called what have I written over there? G R H. Okay. Or G H R H. What is the hormone mentioned over there? Yes. Growth hormone, releasing one. What is the name of the hormone? Growth hormone, releasing hormone. Who is producing growth hormone, releasing hormone? Hypothalamus. And that will act on the cells of the pituitary gland, past the distalis. And that will start the production of which hormone, Machilo? Growth hormone. Okay. The growth hormone is also known as somatotropic hormone. You have to say Somatotropic hormone. Hormone, hormone. So growth hormone is released by the fast distalis of the pituitary gland. Under the influence of who? Hypothalamus का growth hormone release हो रहा है। The hypothalamus will secrete growth hormone inhibitory hormone. Growth hormone inhibitory hormone is also known as somatostatin. क्या कहते हैं इसको? Somatostatin. Somatostatin. And when that will act on the cells they will stop the release of gh pehli maine aapko is example diya tha releasing hormones and inhibitory hormones you all see this one mass of co what are the hypothalamus secreting which will cause the release of growth hormone growth hormone inhibitory hormone which will stop the production of growth hormone what is the other name for growth hormone inhibitory hormone what is it? Stomato. Somatostatin. I have a question again. Somatostatin will stop the production of GH. Okay? Rajwadhan, how many endocrine glands have I mentioned over here? One. No presence of mind. Arushka? दो कौन से कौन से दो हाँ एंड वन ऑफ द टू हार्मोन्स आई मेंशन 
Growth. How many hormones have mentioned over there right now? Three. Who are they? Very good. On these lines, questions were asked. I tell you which questions were there. Girls, what do you want there? Are you collecting all the water bottles? Huh? What happened? You guys can't make one coherent statement also together. Where was I? A question kya pucha mene yaha pe kitne glands yaha pe pucha mene bataya. Raja ne bolta hai ek. Anushka kya bolti hai? Do. To ek hi ki do hai? Do hai. Kaise do hai? Ek kud hypothalamus ho gya? Ek ho gya? Growth hormone. Or total kitne hormones yaha pe mention kiya blackboard pe? Do ke ti? Kaun se kaun se? Growth hormone, inhibitory hormone, and growth hormone. Three hormones. Hello? You don't believe this thing? Huh? You don't believe it? What is it doing? Yes, sir. 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 कितने ग्लैंड्स हैं बोर्ड पे? कौन से कौन से? पेंट क्या सुन रहे हैं? ऐसे क्या करने दियो? बिटर ग्लैंड है ना? और टोटल हार्मोन कितने अति करे? तीन कौन-कौन कौन दे? रिलीजिंग हार्मोन, ग्रोथ हार्मोन, इनिबिटरी हार्मोन, विच आर द हार्मोन्स ऑफ़ द हाइपोथैलेमस and growth hormone which is the hormone of the pituitary gland. So, bar bar dhima ko dhyan rakhna hai. Konsa hormone hai or uska source kya hai? Konsa hormone hai or uska source kya hai? Ye dhyan me rakhne kya hai? Randomly mark nahi karne ka MCQ uska. Samjha? So, let us talk about the effects of growth hormones. Tell you what could be the possible effect of growth hormones. This is a very long list. I will just restrict myself. Increase in height. It is responsible for linear growth. What do you say? It is responsible for what? Linear growth. What is this linear growth? Yes, guys. Some of you will not be able to relate with what I am saying. Okay. Who is this? Go. I think so. Locomotion. I have taught you this. There is a cartilage over here. What? Yes. What is the name of this cartilage? Epiphyseal cartilage. And the growth hormone acts on the epiphyseal cartilage and converts the cartilage into a bone. किसके ऊपर act करता है growth hormone? Epiphyseal cartilage. And converts the cartilage into a bone. So, what will happen to the size of the bone, or rather the length of the bone? The length of the bone will increase. As a result of which, your height will grow. Right, what you know? But after certain years, say 80 to 90 years, the cartilage will get over. As a result of which, you will stop growing in your height. So at that time, even if you have growth hormone in your body, but the epiphyseal cartilage have fused, the metaphysis and the epiphysis has become the same now. वो बताया हुई बात ही है। What my point? इसके आगे height नहीं बढ़े। आया समझ में बात? तो किसके influence में height बढ़ता है? किसके influence में height बढ़ता है? Growth hormone कहाँ पे act करता है? Epiphyseal cartilage. Okay. Growth hormone also brings about growth of the lean mass. That is muscle development. That is, it has an effect on protein anabolism. It has an effect on Protein anabolism. Protein anabolism. Dhyan dos baat. Protein anabolism. Matlab building of protein or breakdown of protein? Breakdown of protein. So, jo bhi amino acids hai, 
उसको वो प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस के लिए अवेलेबल करता है और सेल को ग्लूकोज अवेलेबल करता है फॉर एनर्जी एक सेल है उसको बोलता है अमाइनो एसिड्स को यूज मत कर फॉर सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी किसको यूज कर ग्लूकोज को एंड अमाइनो एसिड्स को किसके लिए यूज करना फॉर बिल्डिंग अप ऑफ प्रोटीन लाइक बिल्डिंग अप ऑफ योर मसल्स मस्क्यूलर प्रोटीन ओके तो इफ यू लुक एट अ बॉक्सर और एन एम एम ए फाइटर ऑफ एन ऑफ एटी के जीज इज एटी के जीज इज प्योर वॉट मसल इज प्योर मटन बट एन एटी ईयर के जी नॉर्मल मैन इज वॉट ऑल फैट्स चर्बी और अगर ना एक अस्सी किलो एक नॉर्मल आदमी है आपके पापा ही ले लो उनमें क्या है फैट्स है वही एट्टी के जी का एक बॉडी बिल्डर देखो क्या होगा उसके अंदर मसल होगी मस्क्यूलर डेवलपमेंट ग्रोथ हार्मोन हाउ डज ग्रोथ हार्मोन हेल्प इन मस्क्यूलर डेवलप मैडम पिंक टी शर्ट डोंट स्लीप ओके दिस इज नॉट अलाउड आई एम नॉट अ टिकटॉक वीडियो टू एंटरटेन फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड यू टू लिसन टू बी फॉर टू एंड हाफ आवर्स आज कल तुमको लगता है सब कुछ टिकटॉक जैसा होना चाहिए आए डिस्टर गए इसे नाचे थर्टी सेकेंड के लिए चले गए हमको समझ में आ गया टिकटॉक वीडियो नहीं है भाई समझा पांच पांच घंटा बैठना पड़ेगा सुनना पड़ेगा एंटरटेनमेंट बिजनेस नहीं है अलग अलग से ओंकार किस तरह कर्तव्य करू दाखिल कॉन्सेंट्रेट करो ऐसा लगे सीखा लगे नॉलेज है ये टिकटॉक वीडियो नहीं है शॉर्ट नहीं चल रहा इधर शॉर्ट देख देखे उनको वही लगता है कि टीचर भी शॉर्ट्स जैसा होना चाहिए मैं थर्टी सेकेंड के लिए एंटरटेन किया गया फिर केमिस्ट्री के सर आया फिर फिजिक्स ऐसा फिर मैं लूप में आ गया वापस <laughs> नहीं अभी उम्मीद सर नहीं चाहिए अभी सिद्धार्थ चल रहा हूँ ऐसा एक एक करके सब देखते बैठे ये नहीं चले भाई नॉलेज है ये नॉलेज पीरियड्स सो वॉट इज हेल्प इन वॉट कुछ लोग प्रोटीन एना बोल बिल्डिंग अप ऑफ मसल्स ओके सो ओवरऑल इट इज इंक्रीजिंग योर हाइट एज वेल एज योर वेट बैड वेट और गुड वेट गुड वेट ओवरऑल ग्रोथ के लिए और भी सारी बारीक बारीक पॉइंट है कैसे कैसे करता है डायबिटोज ओवरऑल यू है What is there is a hypo or hyper secretion? Uh, does it cause any disorders? Yes, definitely. If the growth hormone undergoes hypo secretion when you are a child, अगर बचपन में अगर hypo secretion होगा growth hormone का, तो आपकी height ही नहीं बढ़ेगी बच्चों. You will be a mid jet. Mid jet मतलब बोना बोना. Dwarf. क्या बोलते हैं उसको आप उन मराठी में क्या बोलेंगे? हाँ. मराठी में नहीं बोल रहे हमारे कुछ लोग एकदम short height रहते हैं वो ये सुनो नहीं. Good. Good ka. Extreme good ka. इतने से होते हैं कुछ सर्कस वगैरह में काम करते हैं. मतलब ज्यादा ही कम कभी हुआ ये You will suffer from a condition called dwarfism. You will be a dwarf. It's a bit types of the bachcho. Mentally normal, mentally abnormal, वगैरह रहते हैं. ठीक है? Mentally normal जो होते हैं आपको ज़्यादा दिन के circus में मिलेंगे. और mentally abnormal ज़्यादा दिन के आपको प्रारंभ में मिलेंगे. ठीक है? ये सब इनको यहाँ पढ़ाना पड़ता है. Adulthood में भी है, लेकिन उसे disorders हम mention नहीं करेंगे यहाँ. Okay. Hypo secretion in adulthood also causes 
previous symptoms also like early aging and all early senescence aur bhi jaldi kya dikhega bachcho old dikhega cell division slow hone ki wajah se growth slow hone ki wajah se the person will be thin highly thin protein nahi hai aur bahut hi patla hai wrinkles on the face fallen hair and okay don't try to match the symptom with me <laughs> i can take down four of you together okay so don't try to match the symptoms so it's the reason highly jaldi budhapa aa jayega usko senescence ho jayega okay mere mein jaldi budhapa nahi aaya main hu hi budha कंडीशन विच इज कॉल्ड एज Gigantism. What's the condition, which lo? Gigantism. Gigantism. You see those basketball players, very tall ones, yeah. like Kobe Bryant. Yes. Tall Kobe Bryant, you see? Yeah. Yes. Kobe Bryant was never tall. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can be fatal. So an early diagnosis is very important. Okay. 
by the anterior pituitary that is the pars distalis pehle wala kaun sa hormone dikha hum log ne growth hormone it also releases a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone the short form of it is tsh okay so the pituitary gland releases tsh when when the hypothalamus will secrete a hormone called tsh releasing hormone the tsh releasing hormone will act on the pars distalis and it will start the production of whom which look thyroid stimulating the thyroid stimulating hormone will then act on the gland which gland thyroid, thyroid gland and then the thyroid gland will start the production of its hormones which are called as thyroxins Okay, so thyroid gland releases thyroxin under the influence of TSH. TSH is released by the anterior pituitary under the influence of TSHRH. Okay, <clears throat> once the hypothalamus stops the production of TSH, the whole production of TSH and thyroxins will stop. Okay. So Rajwardhan, how many hormones have we mentioned over here? Three hormones, and how many endocrine glands? Two, three. Three. Hypothalamus, then pituitary gland, and thyroid gland. Mark me, always keep an eye on it. And how many endocrine glands are there? Three. And how many hormones are there? Three. TSH, RH is a hormone of the. Yes. TSH is the hormone of the <laughs> and thyroxine are the hormones of the <laughs> thyroid. Okay, the functions of thyroxine will be doing it when we learn the structure and function of thyroid gland. I have also learned another hormone. Hypothalamus will secrete. Hormones called corticotropin releasing hormones. क्या होता है इसको? Corticotropin releasing hormones. Corticotropin. What guys? Releasing hormones. These corticotropin releasing hormones will act on the pars distalis. And the pars distalis will bring bring about the release of hormone called adrenocorticotrophic hormones. That is ACTH. Okay, so ACTH is a hormone of the pituitary gland, which is released under the influence of Corticotropin releasing hormones, which are produced by the hypothalamus. What are all of you? Now, adrenocorticotropic hormone. Why are they called so? Because they will act on the adrenal gland. Okay, the adrenal gland. Will show the presence of a part which is called as the adrenal cortex. Okay, so adrenocorticotrophic hormone means it will stimulate the adrenal cortex for the release of certain hormone. Like the adrenal cortex, 
will release a group of three hormones called mineralocorticoids corticoids means hormones of the adrenal cortex that will have an influence on mineral metabolism example of that is in kidneys you have studied about aldosterone the second hormone is glucocorticoids which has an influence on sugar metabolism example of a glucocorticoid is cortisol okay and the third group of hormone it releases who adrenal cortex under the influence of acth is sex corticoids and example of sex corticoids is the male hormones called what would you know androgens so adrenal cortex kitne hormones release karta hai teen groups kaun se kaun se mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids hai sex corticoids उसके अंदर के इंडिविजुअल एग्जांपल्स कौन कौन है लेकिन किसके इन्फ्लुएंस में रिलीज करेगा एसीपीएच को कौन रिलीज करेगा बच्चों अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ कॉर्टिकोट्रॉपिक रिलीजिंग हॉर्मोन ऑफ द हाइपोथलाइकोर दिस सीक्वेंस तो so, यहां पे भी यहां पे भी कितने एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड मेंशन हुए हैं तीन कौन से कौन से टोटल नंबर ऑफ हॉर्मोन कितने हैं एक सीआरएच जो किसका हॉर्मोन है हाइपोथैलामस का दूसरा एसीटीएच वो किसका हॉर्मोन है पास पिस्टालिस का पिटोटरी ग्लैंड का और फिर तीन मेंशन हुए मिनरलो सेक्स और ग्लूको और वो सब किसके हॉर्मोन्स है एडिनल कॉम्प्लेक्स अलग शब्द सो अब टिल नाउ पिटूटरी ग्लैंड में कितने हॉर्मोन्स हुए अपने ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन डीएसएच एसीटीएच है ना क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू शाल आई कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ हॉर्मोन्स सी इट देयर रिलीज नाउ Hypothalamus secretes GnRH. What the name of the hormone? Which one? GnRH. That is gonadotropin releasing hormones. What the name of the hormones? Gonadotropin. Releasing hormones will act on who? Pars distalis, and that will start the production of gonadotropins. The name of the gonadotropins. Gonadotropins, and these gonadotropins are those hormones which will act on the what about you know? Gonads, and they are FSH and LH. Okay, FSH. The full form is follicle stimulating hormone. Okay, and LH. is called as the luteinizing hormone okay so what are the two hormones here fsh that is follicle stimulating hormone and lh that is your luteinizing hormone okay according to the government as book luteinizing hormones in males is also called as icsh can i ask her icsh that is interstitial 
सेल स्टिम्युलेटिंग हॉर्मोन लर्न द नेम्स फर्स्ट आज की नाउ सो यहां पे पहले कौन आया क्या रिलीज क्या उसने वॉट इज एन आर एच वॉप इन रिलीजिंग हॉर्मोन एक्ट ऑन द प्रोडक्शन ठीक है किड्स विच हॉर्मोन एफ एस एच एफ एस एच कम्स अंडर विच हॉर्मोन रिप्रोडक्शन चैप्टर बच्चों बढ़िया जस्ट टू नो इन साइड ओवरीज वी सी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सेल्स विच आर कॉल्ड फॉलिकल्स दीज फॉलिकल्स एज विल टीच यू रिप्रोडक्शन they are given different names no need to learn them today primary follicle secondary follicle tertiary follicle graafian follicle these are the different stages like you are going in first standard second standard third standard fourth standard different stages the follicles are undergoing different stages okay this process is called folly फॉलिकल्स देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द फीमेल gamete okay <coughs> which is also in different stages of its development called primary oocyte secondary oocyte ootiate etc okay right now we will call it as a female mm-hmm. gamete and that process of development is called oogenesis so mukda what is the development of follicles called follicle genesis and what is the development of ovum called The egg, female gamete का formation is called oogenesis. आल लक्षा, yes or no? So FSH will act on the ovaries and it causes F and O. F is what? Folliculogenesis. And O is what? उच्च लो? Oogenesis. Did you get my point, everybody? आया ना? so if a female just imagine a female who is hyposecretion who is showing hyposecretion of fsh is hyposecretion fsh fsh okay what do you mean by hyposecretion of fsh no. less amount of fsh what is the cl- clinical significance which you know yani say she will be infertile <laughs> तो बेबी होने का चांसेस कम हो जाएगा बच्चों क्यों 
chances of female suffering from osteoporosis increases i told you this in locomotion if you remember you know menopause men o pause okay means the menstrual cycle stops completely the female has finished her child bearing age after that the levels of estrogen will increase and there is a more chance of suffering from osteoporosis so tell me how many endocrine glands are mentioned right now five right now once again three who are the three one is hypothalamus which is secreting हॉर्मोन दिखाया इमोशनली <laughs> So whose role I am talking about, which one? Males or FSH in males? FSH in males. 
What is the male gonad called? What? Testy. Like this, testy. The way you are pronouncing it, I should write it like that. Huh? Is it right? Testies. Huh? How do you pronounce it? Testies. <laughs> Testies. Okay. So the test case shows the presence of. I think the school you must have done it, which look. There are tubules inside the testes. Like I'm showing one tubule. What are tubules called? Yes, semini ferrous tubules. What are tubules called? Seminiferous tubules. Okay. Now remember FSH in males. It helps in spermatogenesis. What does it help in Muchilo? Spermatogenesis. What is spermatogenesis? Spermatogenesis. Sperm production. In the 12th standard test book, it is written the last step of spermatogenesis is called spermiogenesis. Okay? The last step, what do you call it, Muchilo? Spermiogenesis. Help her. Yeah, the regular what type What is spermiogenesis? Okay, so does FSH have a role to play in males also? Yes, yes. it helps in sperm production. So, what if FSH is low in a male? He will be infertile. Infertile is not a word used for males, the male will be called sterile male. Sterile, sterile. Okay? When do you say, have you used the word sterility for this? Sterile conditions, free of microorganisms, sterile, sterile media, the tools are sterile, they will not cause any harm, disease will cause karega. It's a sterile male. So I don't know why male is related to the disease or harm is causing it. Okay. So testes ke upar act karke, it will help in the process of sperm production. Which step of sperm production especially? The last step. What is the last step called? Spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis. What is the role of FSH? All of you? Almost you are half asleep. Chilo. So FSH is found in males, females both. Oh. And in both it is helping in? Both it is helping in? In both it is helping in gamete formation? In both it is helping in? Gamete formation. In females it is helping in follicular genesis and? What is follicular genesis? Development of these follicles. Who genesis development of the female gamete? Another function it does in females is? It acts on the? Follicles and causes the release of estrogen. And estrogen is responsible for secondary sexual characteristics. I have a FSH acts on the follicles, causes the release of estrogen. Estrogen is responsible for secondary sexual characters in females. Similarly, guys, FSH is acting on the males. Which part? Seminiferous tubules and is helping in the formation of sperms, especially the last step. Which last step would you know? Neogenesis. Neogenesis. Is this point clear, all of you? Shall we continue? With which hormone? LH. LH in the case of females. Okay, iski baat kariye hum log. LH in the case of females. What does LH do in females?
in the females do you see this one over here okay it's called as a mature follicle what do you call it mature follicle it will cause the mature follicle to rupture cause the mature follicle to rupture, rupture. and it will cause the release of release of what female gamete and this process is called ovulation can you just go ovulation ovulation a female every month during her menstrual cycle shows ovulation almost in the middle of the cycle like if the cycle is from 1st to the 28th day of the month then almost on the 14th day the levels of lh will become suddenly high and this high levels of lh will cause the mature follicle to rupture and cause the release of the female gamete in a process which is called as ovulation so what does fsh uh, what does lh cause in female mature it causes ovulation in the female sex I have always told you. Yes or no? Another thing it does is inside the ovary there is formation of a yellow-colored body. What the color? Yellow. Yellow-colored body. Who can tell me for yellow color? It is which color body? Yellow-colored body. This yellow-colored body is called corpus. ल्यूटियम क्या बोलते हैं उसको कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम कॉर्पस मतलब बॉडी ल्यूटियम मतलब येलो कलर ओके सो दिस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ बॉडी कॉल्ड कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम रिप्रोडक्शन इन ह्यूमंस मोर डिटेल्स राइट नाउ कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम एंड दिस कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम इट रिलीजेस अ हार्मोन कॉल्ड प्रोजेस्टेरोन क्या नाम है और बोल का प्रोजेस्टेरोन एंड द हेल्प द प्रोजेस्टेरोन हेल्प्स इन मेंटेनिंग प्रेगनेंसी इन अ फीमेल इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रेगनेंसी हार्मोन इन फीमेल ओके द फीमेल यूट्रस द वूम ऑफ द मदर इज अ प्लेस वेयर द एम्ब्रियो विल गेट द नरिशमेंट प्रोजेस्टेरोन हेल्प्स इन ऑल दोस प्रोसेसेस अगर प्रोजेस्ट्रॉल नहीं होगा हो या फिर बहुत कम होगा तो एम्ब्रियो अटैच ही नहीं हो पाएगा वहां पे, सस्टेन ही नहीं कर पाएगा ओके डेवलप नहीं हो पाएगा इसलिए उसको हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं प्रेगनेंसी और जब प्रोजेस्ट्रॉल्स के लेवल कम होते हैं तो मेंसेस स्टार्ट होती है मुझे ओके द फीमेल आफ्टर द रीचिंग द एज ऑफ प्यूबर्टी Sexual maturity. She will show menses once in a month. Normally, ovulation once in a month. Ovulation cannot be seen. It occurs inside the ovaries. But menses is the bleeding that occurs through the vagina. When a female becomes pregnant, there is no menses. because progesterone is holding things inside not allowing them to come out hello sir so that is why it is called as a pregnancy hormone i am trying to tell you things which you are going to learn in more detail in human reproduction but just to build a background here samajh lo everyone this to give you an overview aage to ye to aise hi bata raha hu samajhne ke liye kya kyu bolte ho isko also hormone pregnancy hormone okay it will help you it will help to maintain what pregnancy so which the pregnancy hormone is female progesterone who is the ovulatory hormones in females ovulatory ovulatory who helps in ovulation bolo yahan pe likha hua hai bachcho lh kahan likha hai lh to likha hai lh ovulation which hormone is responsible for secondary sexual characters in females <laughs> How many hormones right now I mentioned three. Who are they? Progesterone, 
but progesterone, gonadotropins, and GnRH. And how many glands I mentioned here? Three. Who? Ovaries, the corpus, luteum, pituitary gland, and hypothalamus. I hope you got it, everybody. Yes or no? So, what is the function of LH in females? One is ovulation. The other is it helps to maintain which structure? Corpus luteum. Ayana, for the secretion of a hormone called as progesterone. And progesterone helps in maintaining pregnancy. I hope you got it, everybody. The second is the role of LH in the case of males, where it is also known as ICSH. Do you see the testis over here, guys? The red, where I am showing the diagram. There, there are cells. Called interstitial cells, ya fir usko bolte ledic cells. What are the cells called? Which one? Pura naam bol. I'll see. Ya fir usko bolte hain ledic cells. Okay, LH. Will act on the which cells? Interstitial cells, which are also called as ledic cells, and they will secrete a hormone called what are the name of the hormone? Which is testosterone. So, LH in males acts on which cells? Interstitial cells. Ya fir ledic cells. And causes the release of which hormone? Testosterone. And what is testosterone responsible for? What is testosterone responsible for? Secondary sexual characters in a male. What are secondary sexual characters in a male? Which look tell me. Bolo. Thick. Thick. Oh, wait, wait. Thick. Facial hairs. Facial hair. Thick. Thick facial hairs. Thick facial hairs. Broad shoulders. Broad shoulders. More musculature. More musculature. And highly intelligent. Loudly. Bolo. What are the secondary sexual characters in males? Give. Unko. Ye characters dekhi ab samajh jaate ki male hai. Batao kya kya hai. Broad shoulder. Loudly, everybody. Broad shoulder. More musculature. Deeper voice. Broad shoulders. And highly intelligent. The male ki pechan. And which hormone is responsible for that? I wanted 